Hey all you beautiful people, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Either way, we found each other and I'm so glad we did. So today, as promised from my last video, we are going to do a hospital story time. Oh yeah. And this hospital story time is going to be getting caught or almost getting caught receiving oral sex in my hospital room. Oh yeah. So you remember that guy Mark that I talked about in my hand job video? Well me and him we dated for several months while I was sick and he was my dialysis boyfriend. I mean we saw each other at the hospital, we saw each other through dialysis and that was it. Well, one day I was in the hospital, I was sick and my mother and my grandmother went to go get some like clothes or something so they were gone for quite a while. Um, because they had to drive an hour there, an hour back. And Mark showed up probably like 30, 40 minutes after they had left. So they was probably already getting close to home by the time Mark showed up. But um, I wasn't really needing anything. So like I knew that the nurses weren't going to be coming in for anything anytime soon. So me and Mark, we just started decided to like fool around. We was making out. Uh, we went to the bathroom and like was fooling around. He tried to pick me up, but he was like super short and I was like almost taller than him really, which is really awkward. But like, yeah, he tried to like pick me up and be like all sexy and stuff, but it just, no, no man, it just was not working. Okay. So, um, but apparently it was working enough for me to be like, yeah, you know what? We can slide my pants down and you can get a little feel. So, that's exactly what we did. I was laying in bed. He pulled my pants down. And we, I was kind of laying sideways in bed. And he wasn't on the bed. He was, um, like, in, standing on the floor but, like, bent over, you know. And I was on the bed, my legs on his shoulders. And, he, you know, we were just being naughty <laughs> and um probably about 15 minutes into us fooling around um I heard a jiggle of like the doorknob so as soon as I heard that jiggle I leaned back kicked Mark so hard that he it knocked him backwards into the wall I like kicked his face and it knocked him backwards into the fucking wall and luckily there was like a curtain but like from the door so like the doctors and stuff would like pull that curtain if they were doing something and they didn't want someone to like accidentally walk in and see well that curtain was pulled okay so I had like a little bit of time and I like kind of twisted myself back in bed covered up real quick my pants are at my feet and here comes my grandmother my mother and a nurse all at the same time. Mark is like picking himself back up off the floor for I like knocked him into the wall and he just melted. And he was picking himself back up off the floor. Luckily the boy wasn't wearing his glasses because if that boy was wearing his glasses, I would have had to pay for glasses. And I'm not gonna pay for some damn glasses just because I almost got caught you going down on me. Okay, okay. So, um my mother kinda gave me this like what was you doing look because like I'm sure I looked guilty as fuck back then and I was just like trying to play it off and my grandmother being the nice woman that she is um she was like do you guys want some chicken and belly and um stuff because they had went down to the cafeteria as well and um I guess on their way back and they was like, do you want some chicken? Do you want this? Do you want that? Are you guys hungry? And I'm just like, no, mama, like, I'm, I'm good. And Mark's like, no, no, ma'am, I'm, I'm fine. And there was a red spot on Mark's eye where I kicked him and it already started turning red. And my grandmother noticed this and she's like, Mark, are you okay? Like, what's wrong with your eye? Like, do you have pink eye or something? And Mark's just like, oh no, like, I ran into something. <laughs> and... Um, my grandmother just, like, kept pushing it. She was like, do you need some ice? Like, are you okay? So, um, my mom just, like, kept looking at me, like, 
girl, you, you did, you did something, like, something's going on, and I'm freaking out in my head, because my pants are at my feet, and there's no way I can get these on without someone noticing, and luckily, I'm covered up, but, it was like, how am I supposed to, like, wiggle, like, grab them, and wiggle, them and, like, pull them up, like, how the fuck am I supposed to do that, right, so, it took, like, two hours before my mom and my grandma was, like, busy doing something before I could, like, pull my pants back up. The nurse just come in to check my vitals and everything. Luckily, they didn't check the pulses in my feet because sometimes they would do that. Thank God she did not do that. And the next day, when Mark came and saw me again in the hospital, his eye was purple. It was Black. It was all over your hair. Like, you think my eyeshadow was bad? Mark's eye was just, like, so fucking purple and, like, dark where I kicked him so hard because I was so scared of getting caught. I'm, like, 15 years old, and I'm, like, freaking the fuck out. Like, <laughs> it was, it's funny kind of now to think back at it, but, like, at the time... I thought we was busted. I thought that my mom was going to kill me. My grandma was going to be so disappointed in me. Because at that time, um, I had thought early, earlier, um, like probably like a year prior. And like I got like a purity ring. And I was going to save myself till marriage. And then like I started dating and then like hormones and you know, things happened. Luckily I did not lose my virginity in the hospital. <laughs> but I, you know, it was quite a, quite an adventure. So giving a hand job in the hospital is one thing. Receiving oral in the hospital is one thing. And both times we damn near got caught. And I'm wondering if it's like, maybe we got caught because we weren't supposed to go farther than we were. Because, like, you know, I was messing around with his little lower area. He was mm, munching on my lower area. And, you know, things would have led to sex. I really just think, believe that, like, if it hadn't been for, like, the paranoia and thinking that I was going to get caught, I would have lost my virginity in the hospital. Damn right, I would have. And I'm glad that I not lose it to that loser of a of a guy that I dated because I didn't have any options. And I'm so sorry, Mark, if you ever see this video. I hope you never do. Um, but I mean, you know, honesty is honesty, and I'm glad I didn't lose my virginity to him. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna stop rambling now. You've heard enough from me. You've seen enough from me for yesterday. You've seen enough from me today. And you might see me tomorrow or the next day. I don't know when my upload schedule is going to be. I wanted it to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But my life is just too crazy for that. I am a mom to an 11 and a 9-year-old. And that is a story, too. Because if you add up the dates, I would have been 15 when I had my 11-year-old because he was back from 12. And guess what? I was not pregnant and on dialysis at the same time. So how I became a mom is a story all on its own, and that is something I will tell later on. Alright, you guys, I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this. Maybe somebody will get a laugh out of it. And you know what? I've been called a fucking savage, a legend, everything for doing stuff in the hospital. But you know what? The hospital's not the only crazy place that I've had sex. There's a lot of sex capades in my arsenal, okay? In my little black book. <laughs> but, alright, you guys. Love you guys. See you in the next one.